Me and Lala is very matchy matchy. So we want to cook something Cantonese again. A tong sui. What is that tong sui? Fujo imai. Fujo imai, yes. So basically, my fujo imai is a bit different. Uh, although my grandma used to cook this, but I have, uh, you know, over the years, I have changed the recipe a little bit. I don't really just cook the tong sui, but I actually add in uh, soya milk to make the, the soup even better. So this is actually, um, uh, fujo is bean curd. Fujo means bean curd. Imai means barley. Uh, and then we have a lot of other ingredients, which Lala will introduce you. So, so we I'm, have some corn and some pandan leaf and rock sugar. Alright. And show everyone. What is this? There you go. And some tiny spot eggs and some barley. Barley. And what is that one? Well, in English it's called gigo. Uh, so basically, bakko. So this is usually it, they come fresh in with a shell. It's like a nut, and uh, uh, we have lala is very good in filling. And some bado. Fujo. Fujo. Bean curd. Yeah, bean curd. There are two types. This type and this one. This one cook very fast. It will kind of dissolve. And some soya milk. Soya milk. Okay, now I will put in. Would you like to? Would you like to open the? Okay, break the shell. All right. Um, I will put some barley. I won't put all of this. Basically, if you buy those barley which are in the pack, um, about a pack of that, if you cook, cook this much, look at this one. And then I put in the bako, they look like this. I put it all, because I like bako a lot. I put in the eggs, these are pre-boiled already. And of course the corn, this one also add on, usually they don't put corn in. But I love, uh, you know, the taste of corn in my tong soy because it's sweet and then, you know, it has got a certain corn flavor. And pan leaf is very important for tong soy. Then you can start putting this, all this in as well. Either you cut them or you can just put the whole thing because somehow they will dissolve, right? I'll put all in because this also creates some texture. Yay, all in. So this one put later, not now. Um, usually I cook this for about uh, an hour and a half or if you want to slow cook, two hours. If you use uh, a pressure cooker, maybe 45 minutes or an hour will be great now. You just have to make sure the barley is properly cooked, yeah? Uh, a lot of time barley takes uh, a while to, to cook up. This much sugar, much later, yeah? So that's it. Um, we let it boil and then later I will show you when I put in the soya milk and, yeah, and the sugar. Right, we are back again. Actually, Lala has changed her style. Lala show. <laughs> she changed the necklace into a belt. I am actually wearing the t-shirt with the reversible skirt from the Kita collection. You can see pictures in my website more. So now, uh, after half an hour of cooking, just, uh, you know, all the ingredients that I showed you just now, it's really nice. You can see the bean curd has kind of dissolved. And now, it's time for us to put in the soya milk. Can I yeah. Be careful. Yeah, add in the soya milk. Let's squeeze the milk up. Oops. It's like squeezing milk. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me open it. No, it's not open yet. So normally I buy this uh, ready-made, uh, not ready-made, but usually I buy this kind of soya milk, the one without sugar. And uh, yeah, because you don't add any sugar anyway. I like the one with sugar. Yeah, I like for drinking, but for cooking, don't sorry, we don't need sweet soup, we don't need. Alright, so I will let it boil for another half an hour. I think then we'll be kind of ready, yeah? So we'll come back to you in half an hour. Uh, later, not now. Yeah. Well, this is more than one hour of cooking. And now look, how beautiful that look, Lala look. So let me tell you the benefit of Fujok Yimai, okay? So basically, this is good for your complexion. Uh, Chinese uh, believe that if you take this during your pregnancy, your baby will come out very fair, like a snow white. When I was pregnant, I cooked a lot of this and I... Look, no, Lala is half German, so she's a bit fair, not like mama, you know, like, like tan, you know. But doesn't matter, I look tan too. Uh, so now it's time for a sugar. Yeah, don't throw in the lump, just drop it in. Yes, that's all right. Of that? Not all, but I would say three because it's a big, big pot. All right, enough. Yeah, last one. That's it. Okay, so now you can see that it is looking really like a soya milk because with the bean curd and all that, uh, you know, after it's it's kind of dissolved, the bean curds all dissolve, they become a bit more like part of the soup, like the soya soup. Beautiful, right? Do you like to try? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's about time. So just make sure that all the uh, the barley, can you see? The barley is cooked, right? When they are cooked, it means it's ready. I don't see it in the barley. Would you like the egg? Or you just like the corn and the... Fuchok. As you can see, the fuchoks are all part of the soup now. La la la, fuchok. This is some fuchok. It's very good for your complexion, has a lot of nutrition, a lot of protein in here. Oh, yeah, you want to eat too? Okay, tiny eggs. Very hot. So, yes, I hope you will enjoy this uh, tong sui that I enjoy very much since uh, very young. And a lot of people love this too. So, my style is slightly different, but uh, it works really well. The recipe is great. I've been cooking this for my, uh, my teammates, my staff at work, and they really enjoyed it too. So, anyway, have a good evening. Wait, 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 wait. Go eat first. Say bye-bye! She's so hungry. Hey, say bye-bye! Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. bye, -bye. bye. bye.
Bob sugar, corn, corn, and corn kernels, corn kernels and banana leaf. Corn kernels and banana leaf and some cherry. So, so, so and some cherry. Yeah, that's the show Okay. And, and some barley, barley. Eh? and some barley, barley. 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 Bar